There are four major muscles to the rotator cuff. Most people have heard of the supraspinatus muscle. It runs on the top of the scapula, cuts out on the top of the humerus. This is the one most commonly hurt and injured. When people say they have rotator cuff syndrome, this is the one they're talking about. We've got several on the back of the shoulder that cut from the ridge back to the back of the shoulder. These help stabilize and pull the humerus backwards. When we raise our arm above our head or extend backwards, we're really using these muscles. They can become injured. People may have heard of Terry's syndrome or posterior shoulder sprains. This is commonly the area getting involved. The one that isn't discussed that might be the most important is the subscapularis. It actually starts on the front of your scapula or the anterior surface and cuts to the humerus forming the anterior aspect of the capsule. This is the most important stabilizer for that humeral head as it turns and rocks in that cup. So we've got the ball and socket for the movement to turning and twisting. If the subscap isn't working as it should, the humeral head starts to raise superior upwards towards the head. This increases the chances of the supraspinatus muscle getting irritated or injured with time. So good shoulder treatment involves addressing the subscap, getting in there to work those muscles the best we can. Massage therapy reaches up in the armpit. It's not the most comfortable in the world, but it does a great job of decreasing the spasms to let this humerus drop back down where it should. We can then complement it with cold laser, physical therapy, exercises, and stretches to restabilize the shoulder and how it works to help get you better and back to your activities faster.